In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice using the law of sines and the law of cosines. In example A, it says solve the triangle using the law of sines. Round decimal answers to the nearest tenth. So in this case, if we're using the law of sines, what we want to do is match up angles with their opposite sides. So angle C matches up with 12 and angle B matches up with, or 85 degrees, matches up with side B. And angle A, which we don't know yet, will match up with side A. So first let's solve for side B. What we're gonna do is say sine of 38 degrees over 12, because those are a matching angle and side, must equal sine of 85 degrees over B. Now to solve this, we use our calculator to figure out the sine of 38, which is about 0.62, and also the sine of 85, which is about 0.996, And then to solve for B, we just have to cross multiply. So we'll get 0.62B equals 0.996, which is already in our calculator, times 12. So we get 11.95. So divide both sides by 0.62. And we get B equals our 11.95, which is in our calculator, divided by 0.62. So we get approximately 11.3, sorry, 19.3. All right, so now we figured out side B. In order to figure out side A, we first want to figure out this missing angle right here. So remember that the three angles in a triangle always add to 180 degrees. So to find angle A, we can do 180 minus 85 minus 38, which is 57. So angle A equals 57 degrees. So now we can set up a new equation, which is that... sine of 38 over 12 equals the sine of 57 over A. Again, you just always want to match up angles with their opposite sides. So we're going to solve this the same way. We already know that sine of 38 is 0.62. And now we want to figure out the sine of 57 on the calculator. So sine of 57 is 0.84 approximately. So we'll write that for now and leave that in our calculator. Cross multiply. So we get 0.62a equals 0.84, which is in our calculator, times 12. So we get about 10. So it's 0.62a equals approximately 10. Divide both sides by 0.62. And we get our answer of A equals 10 in our calculator, divided by 0.62. So it's approximately 16.2. So that's how you use the law of sines to find missing sides in non-right triangles. Next, we're going to look at example C, which helps us to practice using the law of cosines. It says, solve the triangle using the law of cosines. Round your answers to the nearest hundredth. So in this case, we have an angle and an opposite side from it and two other sides. Remember the law of cosines says c squared equals a squared plus b squared, so Pythagorean theorem, but then minus 2ab cosine of angle c. So in this case, angle c is going to be our angle b. And that means side C is over here. And A and B, it doesn't really matter which is which. And it helps to do that just to keep it uh, matching up with the formula. So now we have C squared, which is what we're solving for, equals 26 squared plus 18 squared minus 2 times 26 times 18 
and then cosine 26. So now we need to do a lot of calculations to simplify this. 26 squared is 676, 18 squared is 324, and 2 times 26 times 18 is 936. So we're on our way to simplifying this. Next, you should add these up, which is 1,000. And then figure out the cosine of 26 in the calculator and multiply it by 936. And you should get 605.52 approximately. Now you want to subtract and you get that c squared equals 394.48. To finish off, we square root both sides to find c and we get that c is approximately 19.86, rounded to the nearest hundredth.